So I was totally wrong on Tesla. But does that mean that I need to start investing now? Nope. We'll talk about why. Let's go. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Kalechi, back with another video. If this is your first time around these parts, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy anything that we talk about in this video, hit that like button. Turn that thing a blue. But in this video, we're going to talk about Tesla and the meteoric rise that Tesla has seen in literally just the first, what, eight days of this year? Like in a week, Tesla's market cap increased by the size of the entire GM. GM! Like the entire market cap of GM, Tesla is bigger than that. Like how ridiculous is that? Like Tesla went up by $60 billion in the last week. That's how ridiculous the run of Tesla has been. And so there's been a lot of investors that have been coming out and kind of been having to eat their comeuppance. Because Tesla, at this point in time, at the very moment of which I am making this video, Tesla is worth about $800 billion, which is worth more than Facebook. Facebook, a company that doesn't even have that much of any expenses, is worth less than a company that actually has to manufacture vehicles. And so a lot of us are having to come up and say, hey, maybe we were wrong. However, let's talk about that a little bit more. Somebody who is learning to be a better investor and trying to be an investor like Warren Buffett one day, one of the things that I've learned is when you're wrong, it's better for you to stand up, look at the investment thing, Look at the thesis that you had in the past and say, you know what? I was wrong about this. Let me rethink my strategy. Let me rethink the way that I was doing things and make some corrections. Even Warren Buffett has come out and said, hey, I was wrong about Apple. I should have been an Apple much sooner. This was one of the worst mistakes that I made when it comes to investing. He has said that on wax. And if nobody knows what on wax means, it means he said it on the record or on a video, whatever. You guys, we just go with that. But the point is, when you want to be a better investor, you have to learn how to say, you know what, I was wrong, and be okay with being wrong. What exactly was I wrong about when it came to Tesla? Well, you see, when it comes to stocks and when it comes to companies, there are two things that helps it out a lot. One can be just the basic financials of the company. So that looks like the profits, the revenue growth, those kind of things that people love to talk about all the time when it comes to investing, which are very important. But then there's a second factor that a lot of people don't seem to talk about as often. And that is the story behind that company. And sometimes the story of a company can outweigh the actual financials of a company. And usually the story can carry a company much further than the actual financials of that company. And I undervalued the story of Tesla. I undervalued and I underplayed what Tesla truly was, which is a story, which is a great, great great story with a great storyteller not being just elon musk but all his followers as well which carried the stock to where it is right now i never imagined or i never even knew about the idea that a story of a company can be more important than the financials of that company if you listen to most people that are bullish about tesla and bullish on tesla it is never about the present day they're mostly talking about a future that they want to happen. They're mostly focused on a future that they believe that Tesla will be able to bring about. They're mostly focused on how Tesla will create a future that most people just can't think about right now. And that's why most people are invested in this company. It's never about the present day. And also, Tesla has an Apple-like effect where it almost seems like Tesla is the only player in its game. There is no other opponents, there's no other challengers. It's basically Tesla and Tesla alone. <laughs> Think about it this way. A lot of people will talk about the autonomous driving of Tesla as if Tesla is the only one working on that. Or a lot of people will talk about the robot taxi and it'll be like only Tesla is working on that. Or people will talk about the solar roofs that Tesla has as if it's the only one on the market. Or they'll talk about the battery packs as if Tesla is the only one on the market. And that's the way that people have valued this company. They play this company not as what it is presently, but what it could be in the future. Here's the thing, as much as I love Tesla and I really do believe in Tesla, am I still gonna invest in the company? No. The main reason for that is for something that I heard from Monish Barbrai, or rather I heard it from Investing With Tom, which go check out his YouTube channel, and he said something. Every time you wanna invest, you want a situation where heads I win, tails I don't lose that much. 
You want a situation where you have a margin of safety. And right now with Tesla, I don't see a margin of safety. I see years in the future where a bunch of returns has already been baked into the market cap right now. And so with my investing strategy and with any value investing strategy out there, one of the things we have to always think about is not about just returns, but about risk. And investing is mostly about taking care of your risk. And right now with Tesla, Tesla is highly risky. And so for me, I'm out. But let me know, what do you guys think? You think Tesla might still be a thing for you to go ahead and invest in? Put it down in the comments. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I hope y'all learned one, maybe two things out of this entire thing. I'm gonna catch y'all up on the next one. Remember, generosity is always greater than greed. God bless each and every single one of y'all, and I'm out. Peace.